Hey, this is Jared and you are watching Backroad Exploration. This week I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different. I'm gonna let you choose my next set of tires and my new lift kit, so stick around. Over the past two years, I put over 30,000 miles on my Jeep Wrangler. I don't use my Jeep as my commuter, it is my primary off-road vehicle, which means those miles have come on unpaved and rough roads and thousands upon thousands of trail miles, which puts a little bit of wear and tear on your vehicle. So I've got a couple of problems that I need resolved. The first one is my suspension is shot. The front left bushing is actually completely fallen out of my suspension. Over the past couple of months, I've tried a couple different band-aid solutions to help it out, but the reality of it is it just needs replaced. It's clinking really bad, which cannot be good. It's made the ride really stiff. All of the shocks, just everything needs a little bit of love. In addition to that, if you did watch my West Desert trip, my tires are pretty bald. I've been putting off tires for a couple of reasons. One, I really did want to kind of get through the winter. They're not completely bald, and so I was going to be okay to do a couple of trips with them. And I had a company reach out to me and offer to give me some tires to test. Needless to say, it didn't work out. And because of that, I've kind of been pushing that down the road a little bit. But the time has come. I need to do some suspension upgrades, and I need to get a new set of tires. And I want your help for both of those. I've picked out three lift kits and three tires that come with really good reviews, have an excellent reputation, come highly recommended from some of my viewers, and I'm gonna let you decide what set of tires I'm gonna buy and what suspension I'm gonna get. So let's jump in and take a look at what I'm looking at. I'm gonna go with a two to two and a half inch lift for a couple of reasons. One, it fits the off-roading that I like to do. The Jeep Wrangler is an extremely capable vehicle and with a small lift, it can do anything that I want it to. In fact, it's more capable than I am as a driver. So it fits my needs. It's gonna make it so that the on-road behavior is still really good because a lot of my miles, when I'm headed down to Southern Utah, I'm putting a lot of paved miles, sometimes 150, 200 miles before I get to the dirt and then putting 200 miles of dirt. So I want a lift kit that's gonna perform well on pavement and off of pavement. Additionally, the two to two and a half inch lifts, they work with my budget, which is one of the main constraints that all of us have. So the first lift that I'm looking at is the American Expedition Vehicles AEV two and a half inch dual sport suspension lift. AEV makes some of the best engineered Jeep products out there. The founder of AEV used to be an engineer at Jeep and their whole purpose is to make things that are super durable, really reliable, and just as good, if not better, than stock, which is something that really interests me. To be honest, the AEV lift is the one that I personally want the most because of that. Um, I've watched several review videos of channels that I really like and respect, and it seems like the best fit for me, but you guys get to decide. The second lift that I'm really interested in is the Old Man Emu two inch heavy duty load suspension lift. Old Man Emu has an excellent reputation. Tons of the guys in the Toyota world absolutely love it. They're using Old Man Emu lifts on their Land Cruisers and Forerunners, etc. This lift kit is designed for heavy loads, and the reality is my Jeep is a heavy load. Between the roof rack, all of my gear, my entire family, our dog, everything, this is a good option for me as well. From what I understand, I'm not an expert on this lift, I've never had it. It's a little bit stiffer than some of the other lifts and a lot of people after they install it actually say it adds about three and a half inches of lift, but by the time you throw all your gear in, it takes it back down to two and a half inches. But they have an excellent reputation, their products are super well tested, and a lift that I would be really happy with. The third option, the Terraflex two and a half inch lift with 9550 VSO shocks. Terraflex is a Utah-based company. They make incredible suspension systems. Admittedly, this is their budget system. I would love to get one of their fancier ones with, you know, adjustable shocks and things like that, but it just does not fit in the budget that I have for this project. And this lift has really good reviews. A lot of people love it as a kind of an entry-level lift, which will work for me. The reality is I'm not doing hardcore rock crawling. Most of my 
exploring is done on fairly well-maintained dirt roads. And in the sections that aren't well-maintained, this lift is gonna be able to handle it as well. These are three lifts that have great reputations, like I mentioned, really good reviews, and are all roughly around the $1,000 price range. They vary a little bit. I think that the Terraflex is the cheapest and the Old Man Emu is the most expensive and AV is right in the middle, but they all work with the budget that I have and so I'm happy to have any of those. Like I mentioned early, in addition to upgrading my suspension, I'm looking at getting some new tires. Tires, probably the most important upgrade that you can do to your vehicle. Over the past two years, almost three years now since I picked up the Jeep, and 30,000 miles, I have put a lot of wear and tear on my Nito Trail Grapplers. I have been very pleased with those tires, but they're a more mud terrain style tire that it doesn't necessarily fit the off-roading that I do. When I purchased the Jeep, they were in really good condition, and so there was really no reason to go just take them off and get something else. I haven't had a single trail-related tire failure. In fact, I've only ever lost air pressure in one tire. It's because I ran over a nail in the back by the shed behind my house to shoot one of these videos. So after we got that pulled out, patched up, it, it was good to go. They have been excellent, but they're really more of a rock crawler, mud terrain type tire. They're heavy, they're over 10 pounds heavier per tire than any of the tires that I'm currently looking at. So I wanna get a different tire that's gonna weigh less and be better suited for the type of terrain that I like to cover. So let's take a look at the three tires that I'm choosing from. The first tire that I'm interested in is the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. Over the past few years, when I've talked about tires, either on Instagram or on my YouTube channel, this tire has been recommended more than any other tire. And I really respect my followers' opinions. You guys are out on amazing adventures, and if you trust these tires, that's something I feel confident in. They have excellent reviews, they have a good reputation, and are a tire that I would absolutely love to run and test, and they're not talked about that often, which is another thing that's interesting to me. So I would love to be able to get these, kind of give some first impressions, put them through their paces, and give a long-term review on what I think of them. So that's the first tire that I'm interested in. The second tire that I'm really interested in is a tire that very few people actually know about. It's the Nexon Rodian MTX. Nexon has had an amazing reputation in the street drift world, making really, really high quality tires. I think just with the expansion and explosion of off-roading that's going on, they recognized that that was a market that they were missing, and they've made the Rodian MTX to be kind of a hybrid between an all-terrain and a mud terrain. It's a really affordable tire. In fact, it is by far the cheapest per tire, and these things from everything that I've read and heard and talked to people who are running these tires and are really happy with them, they're amazing. I've talked to guys who have ran BF Goodrich KO2s for years, and they like these better in every aspect, on-road performance, off-road performance. So that's really intriguing to me. I'm interested in them. One, I would love to save a little bit of money, but two, I think that it's cool to have more options on the market. And if they are as good as people are talk them up to be, I think that it could be something that'd be really good for the off-roading space. So I'm very interested in the Nexon Rodian MTXs. Last but not least, the BF Goodrich KO2s. I really debated on whether I wanted to put these in my list. In fact, I looked at several other tires like the General Grabbers and a few others. I have nothing against the KO2s. Their reputation is second to none. Probably most of you watching this video have had them, are currently running them, or love them. But there's not a lot of like mystique to them. You know, People know they're really good. And so I would kind of like to try something that's not necessarily those just so that I can give a different opinion and maybe expand that world. Plus the more competition there is in the space, it's just gonna continue to push BF Goodrich to up their game. My brother Mike is running the KO2s on his 4Runner. My friend Way is running them on his 4Runner. I'm really experienced with these tires from that perspective, but I've never ran them myself. So I'm definitely open to it. And like I mentioned, this is gonna be up to you guys. There are a ton of great tires and a ton of great lift kits. This isn't to say that these are the best ones. These are just the ones that I feel the most comfortable running this type of an experiment with. Please jump into the comments. I'm trying to do this over the next couple of days. So on Friday, either in the evening or midday, I'm gonna take a tally of the lift kit and tires that get the most votes either in the YouTube comments, 
combined with Instagram comments. I'm gonna tally both of those together and I'm gonna choose whatever you guys select. So please jump in, give me your feedback, let me know what you want me to do. And this is gonna be kind of a fun little social experiment. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be giving kind of a behind the scenes look at it. I'm gonna do some first impressions of each and then I'll do some detailed reviews later on after I've had sufficient amount of time to run them. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm really excited about the growth that's taking place and I'm absolutely honored by anyone that takes any amount of time to watch a single second of my videos. Last but not least, and I know that I already mentioned this, but please jump in the comments, let me know what you want me to do and let's go on this journey together. This should be a lot of fun. Journey, is this like The Bachelor? What is going on? Ha 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 ha.